Lens. Juicy. Chessy <laughs> and Lens. Chessy and Lens is chugging along on the Norfolk boat. Chessy and Lens. Chessy and Lens and Johnny steers the boat. We go and play and have a look with Lindsay's bags. Lindsay's drawing book. We hire a boat for just one week. Jersey and Lindsay, some fun we see. Jersey and Lindsay, Jersey and Lindsay, finding stories every day. Jersey and Lindsay, Jersey and Lindsay, and John, he makes the vlogs. Oh, hello boys and girls. My name's John and I write the stories. Today's story is about two people and their dog who go on holiday. Right, well, good morning Broads fans. It's uh, Shirt here and of course... Miss Lens! Hi! And we've got Joe down there. Bless him. Well, it's been a couple of years. We didn't go last year, but uh, we're making up for it this year. Um, we're still in sunny Stoke at the moment and we are off to the Broads. So yeah, it's potluck when you turn up here at Stalham. We've had this before. Sometimes you can just drive straight in and check in, and sometimes you've got a line of cars in front of you. And being Easter Saturday today, it's one of those days. minutes in, behind the wheel, I feel a lot more relaxed already. Put on a <laughs> <laughs> so making good progress, we're just, uh, just about to go under Ludden Bridge now. And you're happy chappy? Yeah. It's a, a pasty and beef broth special. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Saving dog and touch on a dog stand. <laughs> <laughs> it is cheap and simple tonight, first night. It's a couple of steak pasties and a couple of tins of soup. Works for me, yeah, darling. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, darling. Enjoy. How have we slept? Uh, not too bad. This one's a bit fidgety in the night, as you know. But uh, no, we slept right, didn't we, Jay? So yeah, we've just come to say hello to our boaty neighbours. This is uh, Rod and Angie. Angie. Good morning. And, <laughs> Adam. and Adam up the top there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's time to slip our moorings and head south. So my able assistant on the other rond anchor. And muggins here over on this one. So 
back on the move and I think breakfast is nearly ready. Oh yes. Master Chef Lynn's has excelled herself. What that is, is a heart attack on a plate. We have a Lynn's back where she belongs. <laughs> I wish. You would not well, yes, like yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, well, for those of you that don't know it, this, of course, is uh, Stracey Arms wind pump. Um, for a few years now, it's had no top, but I think it was last summer they've just put some uh, a new top cap. I think the sales are going to be following fairly soon. It's a great place to stop off, especially as it's sort of halfway between where we've just come from and Yarmouth. And they've also got a shop down there, which may be open on a Sunday afternoon. We're about to find out. Um, but more importantly, they've got the animals. Uh, we've got goats. We've got all sorts down there, so we're going to go and have a look now. Why would you have to be a knob, Joe? Hey, what was that for? Some sort. Okay, well, we are at Yarmouth now. This is the uh, yacht station just ahead of us here. However, looking at the tide, we've got just over seven foot clearance under the bridges, and this is a seven foot boat, so I think it probably just goes straight over rain today. How's it look? Alright! Oh my god, that was scary! <laughs> right, that way's Holland, that way's the Southern Broads, we're gonna go that way. Holland! Southern Broads. So we've just moored up here at Burke Castle, literally just, just off Braden Water and you park up. Um, it's actually a pub mooring, so uh, it's good excuses any, I think. Hence a drink. Hiya, I won't <laughs> say no to a white wine and lemonade. <laughs> I didn't think you would. First pub drink of the holiday. Cheers, baby. Cheers, So yeah, just look at this old Roman wall on the side of the fort. And they've got loads of these holes along here. Just wonder what they're for. Got any bug roll? <laughs> <laughs> Concentration. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my kitchen. Oh, the crab stick, peppers, red onion, tomatoes, lettuce, mussels, feta cheese, salmon. And the sauce that it's going to be mixed in is mayo, salad cream, and Dijon mustard. <laughs> Fancy, that's quite a salad. <laughs> so, yeah, just walk into the pub now. This is uh, Sir Olives. We've just walked past all the load of little holiday homes that Lynn's wants to buy one. <laughs> Let's see what we can find in town. To the pub. <laughs> okay. Cheers, Baba. <laughs> ching ching. Mm. What we got here then? It's like two halves of a push me pull you. Oh, we've got 
No barking. A sniff but no barking. Just shutting your lips and in your face. He's at it again. Memory bloody jobbers and dressing down. <laughs> Good morning from a rather wet set of olives. It's warm enough. It's wet, it's been raining. It's warm enough. I think it's going to clear up while looking at the sky though today. Fingers crossed. Sardine special this morning, darling. Oh yes. <laughs> Right, well it's uh, got a bit after 8 o'clock in the morning, it's still raining, I uh, don't know what it's going to be doing for the rest of the day. What are our predictions? Probably more rain to be honest. Yeah, well... We'll make the best of it then. Well, well we've got some driving to do anyway, we're just having a bit of a look at the map. Uh, we're at Sir Olives at the moment, I think in KL heading south, uh, we've got Summerlowton, not too far away, and then down from that, Alton Broad. So we'll, we'll, we'll definitely make it to Orton Broad. I don't know where we'll take it from there. We might just start heading back towards the other way. I don't know, but uh, no point just sitting here. Let's go and do something. So this is what a bank holiday Monday looks like. Well, it's a bit wet and miserable, but here it is. Finally made it after many, many years of never coming. This is Orton Broad. So uh, that was Orton Broad. Um, Apart from the fact it's slapping it down, I can't really take the camera outside because it's not waterproof. Um, can't find anywhere to moor either. Um, Broads Authority, if you're watching this, these some signs out, tell us where to moor. Um, lots of boats parked up, but they're all private boats, couldn't see any higher craft at all, so I didn't really dare stop anywhere. So we've just come round in a big circle, and we're going to head back the way we came, and head towards Beckles, I suppose. Well, we found somewhere to pull over. Time for a little uh, mid-morning beer, and with the help of uh, extra radio, we could do Popmaster. Who's going to kick whose ass today, Lens? Okay, so it's a couple of hours later, we've made it to Beckles. We're just moored on at the uh, Yosset station. This one's got his coat on. I've got my coat on. And I've got my coat on. I think we're going to need our coats on today, but we're going to have a little wander around Beckles. They do a nice pint and they let dogs in as long as you stay in the right area. So, all good. Might be a rainy day, but we can still have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Cheers, Bubba. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers Badoos. Magnet fishing. We always do the best of the best of three throws. Um, John so far in the lead with this first throw, and he found. What? 
injury. I'm on my second row and I've got sad all. <laughs> Good afternoon, peeps. Hello. Um, time is it's about 20 to 4 now. Yeah. Monday afternoon. It's finally stopped raining. We actually see a bit of sun now. There's, well, there's been a little bit of sun. There's a bit of a blue mm. sky, but as soon as... That's come out, the grey clouds are coming back <laughs> over and again, so it's not for long. Yeah, enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> so we've just got back from having a wander around Beckles, we've got some supplies in, and you know what, we're feeling lazy today, aren't we? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so we're here for the night, we're going to have a little power nap, I think, and uh, yeah, lazy one today. And then uh, tomorrow morning, uh, back across the water, I think, and probably head for Yarmouth. <laughs> to the beach. All right, well, good morning, one and all. It is a beautiful, sunny Tuesday morning. It oh. is absolutely stunning this morning. So, yeah, we would just like to say the weatherman was wrong. It's not going to rain all week. It's beautiful this morning. We're happy. All right, plans for today, then. <coughs> um, obviously, we're still down in Beckles, which is a lovely place to stay, by the way. We'll be coming back to Beckles again. Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah, I recommend it, definitely. Yeah, definitely worth a stop in Beckles. It's a lovely little town. But uh, we are quite a long way from the rest of civilization, so we're going to start making that trip back towards uh, Braden Water in Yarmouth, which is quite an epic drive, so we'll make a move fairly soon, I think. So we're still at Braden Water, but slight change of plan. We've just been flagged down by one of the Broads Ranger boats. He reckons there's not going to be enough clearance to get under the bridge when we get to the other side. So fortunately, we weren't that far out into Braden, so we've just turned around and come away back the way we came. And I think we're going to stop off at Bird Castle for a bit until the tide comes down, which is unfortunately going to be a few hours from now. But uh, off we go. For me. Fish and chips Let's for me. It's bigger than the plate. That'll do for me. Let's tuck in. No tea tonight, then, babe. <laughs> Lindsay doing a bit of braid in action. Half ten on a Tuesday night. We finally found somewhere to moor. Um, today has not gone quite as planned, has it? <laughs> yeah, it's the been original a long yeah. day, hasn't it? If everything had gone to plan, we would have been in Yarmouth for sort of just after lunch. But uh, as it happens, we had all that issue with the tides, and then when we did get across Yarmouth, there was nowhere to moor, so we've had to carry on and on and on, and we've ended up at Upton Dyke. Uh, on the viewer. Well, from what we've seen so far, you just got to get a mooring wherever you can. This is the first time we've ever been out on the broads on a bank holiday week, and I think the advice would be to anybody who's thinking about it don't, because there's <laughs> nowhere to moor. There is nowhere to moor, well, certainly we, on the northern side. Now, it's, um, it's blowing a hurricane out there and it's raining, so hoping it will just get it out of its system and it'll be beautiful tomorrow. Yeah. Fingers crossed, but until then. No, no. Good 
Good morning and uh, welcome to Wednesday here on the Broads. It's not just any Wednesday, it's a special Wednesday today. It's this one's birthday. <laughs> Old! Old. She'll tell you what, she's looking great for 26, it's got to be so. <laughs> uh, now, for Lindsay's birthday today, um, it's her choice of first spot and you have chosen... Ramworth. Ramworth it is, let's go. Okay, slight change of plan. We're going to see if we can get in at St Bennett's first thing as he's on the way. Yeah, because I'm sounding down. I'd like an evening meal at Maltz. If we can't go there, it might be pushing it. Uh, it's a big if, but we will try. It'll be somewhere nice either way. Yeah. Next one. The songs Unbelievable and I Believe are yeah, both top ten hits in the early 90s for which group? EMF. EMF is correct. is investigating molehills. <laughs> this room's been bombed in here. There's been some interesting bites. All the coins, um, runes, pottery shards. I think that bag shards. <laughs> yeah, here's another. Yeah, the one field walker found the three silver coins. Well, this is the cut into uh, North House Broad. Whether we'll get a space though, I would like to say, as you can see, there's uh, at least three in front of me at the moment. Well, against all odds, we made it. Welcome to Ramworth. Anyway, I am going to go for an explorer so you're having a little snooze. Right. Sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so while uh, Lindsay's having a bit of a sleep, she needs to catch up on a bit of rest. Thought I'd go for a bit of a wander around Ramworth and have a look around. Now, there's been a bit of controversy on the uh, Facebook pages in particular, and you've got to pay to stop at Ramworth now, which you never used to have to. It's I think it's about is it six quid for the day, or ten quid if you're staying overnight. Which is a bit of a bummer, I suppose, but uh, yeah, you will get a lot of naysayers saying, I don't know, what's the big deal about Ramworth? I don't even bother stopping there. And to those people, I don't know what you've been looking at, because Ramworth has got more going for it than quite a lot of the other stops in terms of things to do. And of course, you've got the shop there, and they've got a little restaurant, you've got the Maltzers pub, and it's got a uh, waste compound, you can get water, even electric, if that's your thing. But first of all, we're going to have a look up the tower. Two minutes. That's not bad. And reason number two for stopping at Ramworth, conservation centre.
Oh, yeah. Right, so we've landed at the Maltsters then, as is tradition. Um, I have my drink. Birthday girl has got her drink. Yeah. Lamb shanks on the way, fish and oh, chips on the way. Lamb shanks. <laughs> I was so pleased when they said it was on the menu. There we go. So, yeah, yeah. once again, happy 26th. 25th? Yeah. Mm. We have Lindsay's lamb shank, which Joe seems very interested in. And I'll get my standard fish and chips. Okay, we'll go. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to finish it off? Would you? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Monster. Sure. Come on, let's get the way. Morning, peepers. Hello, how are we doing? Um, it's what Thursday morning now, just about. I've eight. lost me days. We're definitely yeah, we're on yeah, Thursday, Thursday, just after eight o'clock, and we're going to make an early start this morning. Um, moored up at Ramworth, obviously, um, but we're going to head for Roxham, I think. Yeah, well, Colin again. I've been Colin News out. He said he was really busy yesterday. Got one of the last spots, yeah. so I was like, let's make a zoom for it early this morning. Yeah, let's get that engine so, started. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay then, first morning update. Uh, the tides have messed us up once again. I've just phoned the bridge pilot and apparently we can't get through until after one o'clock because the tide's too high. So, we've stopped here at Salau's. Lindsay's got a breakfast fry up on the go. Breakfast. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, this is of course the South House play area. Okay. There's no children playing on it. <laughs> Are we doing this? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> One, two, three, go! <laughs> ah, but we didn't actually have a uh, we'll have it in the edit. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. And stop. You caught, you didn't see that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> we're, just, we're just at the proposal bench where John proposed to me. This was the place, wasn't it? Yeah, back in... 2018. 2018, I reckon. So we've just come visit the spa. <laughs> we're never going to get married, like. That was the plan. <laughs> too much bloody money. We're happy as we are, aren't You're we? You're stuck with me anyway. <laughs> 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 Just 
walking down to the uh, main stay at How Hill. Go off a bit of a look around. Thank you, Mother Nature. Cross. Oh. You. <laughs> oh, Joe, mate. Soggy doggy. Right, the most important thing to remember in this is balance. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, where did you learn to dance like that? Joe's got his dinner, and Master Chef Lens <laughs> has done it again. Chilly tonight. Oh yes. I put the cream cheese on side as well. Thank you, baby. Well, good morning from Howe Hill. It's about half ten now. Uh, we've got up a bit late and uh, we've been a bit busy this morning filming something that through the magic of television you've already seen. But uh, just had him a bit of breakfast now. Joe's got his breakfast. Ours is on the way. So yeah, we've been here quite long enough now. I think we're going to head off. Um, we're thinking going to head up towards sort of Ersted uh, across Barton Broad, and instead of going straight across, we're going to head to the uh, to the left, over to Nita's Head, see if we can find a spot there. very much. <laughs> Just to prove that we are honest people. So having moored up at Gay's Stave and we've done the walk up to here and this is Nietzsche's head of course. Uh, we did come here many, many years ago, didn't we, when we were moored at Barton? Yeah, for the uh, meal at the White Horse. That's right, and um, this is a rather shorter walk, um, more at, at the uh, Gay Stays rather than going all the way over to Paddy's Lane or Barton Turf. Um, but a uh, lovely little shop here, we just picked up a few odds and ends that we need for our last day. I'm thinking though, before we do the walk back, Swift off? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Well, this is getting to be a bit of a habit, isn't it? It's a good job it's the last day. <laughs> Cheers, brother. <laughs> it's lying there waiting for someone to come out with a plate of food. Because he's, he's, he's used to go to a pub lunch, he's actually waiting for someone to come out with food. <laughs> oh, 
Your wish come true after all. Yeah, do it again. Thank you so much, kind lady. Is it good? Yeah. Right, Miss Lenz, what's on the menu for this evening? I have done some sausages and some get a gammon with her mustard. About oh, to go in the oven. Looking good for a last meal tonight. Well, I've packed the gravy and I've packed the peas, so don't you've got to go on a hunt. <laughs> Let's find the gravy and peas. <laughs> Right, she's already started packing the food. Gravy and peas. Gravy and ah, oh, peas. Take that gravy. That's curry sauce. What are you doing, babe? Uh, a DJ shares mashup. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Our final evening meal of the holiday, and it's a winner. Get out the sausage. Look, he's in my sausage. Joe, you'll get yours. <laughs> Okay, so it's our final evening. It's a bit after eight o'clock and we're all tucked in for the night here at Nita said. Yeah, the rain's coming down now. It's sound yeah. perfect today, yeah, though. It's has. raining again. We don't mind it raining at night, that's fine. Yeah, most of the packing's done and we're just um getting rid of the last of the whiskey so we don't have to take it home. <laughs> Guess who's taken over most of the whiskey? <laughs> who's turned you into an alky this week? <laughs> I learn from the best. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Night night. So here we go then. It is Saturday morning, about eight o'clock. And uh, as you may see around me, the convoy is beginning. These are all boats that are heading back to Richardson's and we will be joining them in a few minutes to do that last run back to base. You know what? I've had my breakfast. Joe's had his breakfast. Lindsay's hungry, aren't you, bud? Yeah, McDonald's. <laughs> to Roxham. Well, I think that about wraps it up for another year. Lindsay, have we had fun today? Lots and lots and lots. It's been a good week, I think. Been fairly lucky with the weather. And traffic, not so much, but you know, good times have been had. We sure have. <laughs> until next year. I think we'll be back. Take care, guys. Till next time, from me, John, Lynn, and Joe. We'll see you next time. Bye.